And morning, Shiva, and a very good morning to uh, viewers around the world. So Samaravir uh, gets a chance, and he's opening the batting. So to uh, Dilara Lokohetige down the order there. Nuan Soiza is the super sub for today. So the Sri Lankans making a few changes. Two players injured. Mutai Murli Dharan, the hamstring, and uh, Maruf split his webbing between thumb and first finger. And the Indians going with a full strength side. Rahul Dravid coming in for Gautam Gambhir. Ajit Agarkar comes in for Srishant. And Suresh Raina will remain the super sub. All in readiness, Irfan Patan playing his first one international in his home turf. Baroda will start the proceedings. Summer we run strike. Ooh, with a bounce. Good start for Irfan Patan. He must be um, worked up today. Playing on his uh, home ground. Pitch outfield. Surrounds familiar to him and uh, Samaravira, just his 17th uh, ODI. He's been used uh, in the Sri Lanka side more as a test player. The highest wicket taker in this series, Ajit Agarkar. It is swing, not too much pace. Taranga gets off the mark. First touch uh, for Upul Taranga after Samaravira played out a maiden. And uh, he's done it nicely. He's played well through the wee. Plays the ball nicely when it's pitched up on the leg side. But his strength is uh, on the offside. Between uh, cover and mid-off. Starts in all the games. 21, 14, 28. Moving when he got 28. And he's good in that area. Again, Ajit Agarkar. Not looking for pace. Just 130 Ks. Was over pitched. Made it count, Upul Taranga. Top shot, feet in position, good balance. The bat uh, coming through straight. Just using the bottom hand a little bit to control the ball as he made contact and putting it into the gap. Seven top order batsmen, three all-rounders. So possibly he's banking on his team, getting a big score on the board. And gone! Picks up a wicket. First one for Irfan Patan in his home turf in international cricket. And the crowds delighted. So is the Indian team. Early breakthrough. Breakthrough for the Indians. A weak shot uh, by uh, Upul Taranga. Ball just pitching outside of stumps. Little deflection. And a simple catch. Can't get it easier than that at first slip. Good height. And so Upul Taranga goes. Sri Lanka losing their first wicket with the score on 11. The bit tight. Just missing leg, I guess. Good delivery from Agaka. Samravira hasn't been uh, moving his feet too well. He's uh, playing in a game after a while, and uh, there you can see hardly any foot movement, just uh, rooted to the crease. But uh, that would have certainly gone down leg side. And gone! Struggling for timing. And he's got to go. These fast bowlers are working well in tandem. Ajit Agarkar getting into the act, picking up a wicket. Dilan Samaravira, the man dismissed. As you could see, again, he was late on the shot. Feet didn't move. And then lobbing a simple catch to Haribajan Singh. So Samaravira, who's struggled all the way during his inning six, facing 25 deliveries, he departs. And Sri Lanka now at 20 for two. Excellent setting for cricket. Tricky, but he'll get a boundary for it. Very lucky on that equation, uh, Sangakara. Just wide, the man at second slip. But uh, the Sri Lankans uh, certainly would need runs. Hey! 
Yes, there is movement in the air, movement of the seam as well. It's called well, Ajit Agarkar. Started out with two gentle losers, but he's tightened up since then. Papa Patan traveled to Pakistan as well to watch his son play. He'll be a proud man. He's the local boy, Irfan, playing his first game in his hometown. He's already picked up a wicket. Chipped away nicely. Will reach the boundary. It's a quick outfield. He plays the shot well, Sangakara. Not a big back lift, but strong uh, on the wrist. Bottom hand coming into play. Nicely played. Good work in the deep by Fan Patan. He's got a good arm too. India have been so good with their throws as well from the deep. Rifan Patan certainly has a very strong arm coming hard and low. That's a good shot. That will reach the boundary without any problem whatsoever. Nice full face of the blade when playing it. 42 for two. What's the face of the blade here? Nice full face of the blade. And he played it away from mid on. Oh, that's through him. That's loose to Ranjit Fernando, who's talking about the footwork. Take a look here. Feet anchored to the crease, pushing at the ball. There you are. Just look at that front foot. It's nowhere near to the pitch of the ball. You really need to have that foot uh, right forward and uh, the bat alongside it. Good reaction on the follow through. This is where the frustration really comes. Uh, you can't get even the single with RP Singh moving so quickly across no! brilliant fielding not much care for save the certain boundary there's been electricity on the field uh, with this Indian side right through the one day series They are definitely being choked for runs, as you would see. Almost a certain four penetration through the offside, virtually impossible. So this encourages bowlers to keep up, which uh, brings about uh, the movement as well. Keep the ball closer to the bat. This time he's got it through and away to the boundary. Some moment in there again for Agaka, but uh, Mahal Jayawardena getting a lot of bat on that occasion, getting it square on the wicket. Somewhat closer to the delivery. That is a play and a miss. Did he scrape the ground? He definitely scraped the ground. They all went up in unison, but Empire not impressed. Feet nowhere near the ball, and there was a big sound, but it was the bat hitting the ground. Gel feeling for the ball outside the Ostrom without getting into any position, Sangakara. Well bowled, but even a better shot. Again, Sangakara playing it straight, and receiving rich rewards for it. It's a welcome boundary. Uh, picked it from uh, around the Austin, but just outside Sangakara. Checked outside the Austin, the bottom hand coming into play. And once again, the mid-on was far too wide. 
77 for two. Mudley Karthik taking the catch, but full marks to India. They've kept the pressure on. RP Singh deserves this wicket. And Sri Lanka lose number three. Yes, Jayabodhana has that habit of pushing the ball in the air in that region between short mid wicket and short square leg. Two fielders to be within the circle, and he was positioned correctly. Just a soft push and Mahala Jawodhana goes for 20, having faced 49 deliveries. RP Singh strikes and Sri Lanka now in deep trouble at 77 for 3. Up in the air. Another one can go down here. It's gone. Sri Lanka in trouble. What a sorry side. Sangakara who's been playing so well. Again hitting across the line. It's the third time he's got out in this series. Different positions. This time an edge, a top edge. The ball just flew high in the air. Yuvran Singh got under it. Had to stay under for a while. But uh, Sangakara has thrown away this uh, opportunity. The start that is built, 32 of 58 deliveries, and Sri Lanka now 80 for 4. Then Shal off the mark with the boundary. Flying off the thickish outside edge. He goes for those shots earlier on in his innings. Sometimes he plays and misses. But on this occasion, getting a thick outside edge and getting a boundary. He goes for the big, expensive drive. A loud shout and the figure has gone up. Dilshan isn't happy. There was a sound, and that's for sure. But uh, you have to see whether it was bad hitting the pad or where did the sound originate from. Sri Lanka have lost half their side. Could be the bat hitting the ground as well. Three wickets for RP Singh. And Sri Lanka looking down the barrel, 85 for 5. Very disappointed, Dilshan. Walks back uh, slowly to the pavilion, still looking back. That may have been a bit of bad luck. Sri Lanka then 85 to fight. Take a look at this one. There, it just while it's passing the bat, it hits. There is a little bit of a sound there, it's picked up by the snicko. And yes, the bat does not hit the ground. Winning the toss and batting, surprising everybody. Atapadu hasn't had a good time at all. Russell Anil nicely tucking away from the own side, beating the man at the short fine. That's four runs. Very well played indeed. Yes, that's well played. Harbhajan really not aware of the situation. Very craftily done, playing it very fine. Goes for the biggie. And connects well. Four six of the game. Well, they needed to push it along, the Sri Lankans. And this was a good pick. It's not premeditated. Pick the length. Pick it from a length to get the elevation. Welcome boundary for the Sri Lankans. No one in the deep on the offside. And he's getting a move on, Russell Arnold. Picked up a six in the last over from Mulli And this was nice placement. Didn't try to hit it too hard. 
just looking for the open spaces. Nicely balanced. Brilliant. Now that makes it even more difficult for the Sri Lankans uh, when you feel in that fashion. Great commitment, but just look at the recovery time. Unbelievable. More Mataif. That's played away fine. Very good placement. So the runs now beginning to flow. Sri Lanka gaining some momentum. It's also becoming a much better pitch to bat on. Another boundary. India attacking by having men in the ring, so the opportunity is there for these two batsmen to find the gap and get the boundary. Plenty of time there for Russell Arnold to rock back. Another boundary. It's a very good cricket from Atapatu. I wonder if it will make a Ma Mudli Karthik rethink the line he's bowling. Still think he might be better off on this surface in the state of the game when you look at it. Bowling around the wicket to the right-handers. Harbhajan Singh into his final over. Ten, nine overs for 35. Oh! Nicely played. Desperate dive from Virendra Sebab. The quicker delivery and the top spinner as well. Read it off the pitch. Just gave it direction. There was enough pace on the ball. Look at this man. He's been a revelation in the last three games. Been very, very busy. He's gone over the top and he's connected handsomely. That's six runs. So Sri Lanka have now got a momentum about them. Great use of the feet by Russell Arnold. Again, showing the degree of confidence he's now developed. He's such a good player, getting to the pitch of it and uh, hitting it straight over mid wicket. Maximum for him, bringing up his half century. Also, the 100 run of the partnership comes on. It's not the easiest of shots to play against the battle between bat and ball now. Agarkar knows that the batsmen are going to go for him. That is in the air. Fielder getting under it. Will it be taken? No, it isn't. Well, that was Mohammad Kaif under it. He looked a bit hesitant. These look easy catches, but they're not easy. They come down swirling. And uh, this is a big, big let off. Of all people, Mohammad Kaif, never easy with the blue sky. Ball swirling around and uh, he really get, didn't get under it. Bit of reverse swing. Brings up Atapadu's 50. His 55th ODI 50. He's been playing for a while. Prolific Atapadu. Both these 50s have come just at the right time for Sri Lanka in this match. Of 62 balls, 4 boundaries. So he's been busy with the running between the wickets. So if you're a Sri Lankan supporter, it's a lot better now. 204 for 5. Ajit Agarkar, that can be quick, that can be very close, I beg your pardon. Eventually, ending up with a bonus run. But that was a direct hit, he was gone. One of those rare occasions that uh, the Indian fielders have missed their mark. But again, uh, when the pressure is on, it's bound to miss more often than uh, strike. And that's really where the real worth of a fielder is shown. He had to shy at the stumps, Kef. He did have another option if he'd just given it to Ajit Agarkar, who was running towards the wicket. And that relay may have worked. In the air and also in the gap. Runs are coming very quickly now for Sri Lanka. Four more. He's indeed picking the open spaces, Russell Arnold. You could see that uh, 
this really is a Russell Arnold of old, regaining his confidence. And uh, he really will have to bat on. Fine leg comes up. Long on now in position for Atapatu. That is predetermined, cheeky and rather fruitful. It is indeed very, very cheeky, showing arrogance of Marvin Atapatu. He caught it to position virtually before the ball was bowled. And uh, just let it go on its way. It's also a measure of how the wicket has eased up and how confidently these two are playing. Both are set as well. This is a beautiful shot. Finally, I came into the circle and he played that. What a time to get it. This will be caught. Yes, it is. Harbhajan Singh takes it and Atapatu departs. So, wicket at last for the Indians. Atapatu really perishes uh, in the course of making quick runs. The chase was on. And he was, in fact, aiming at that region around mid-wicket, but uh, played a little too early, as you would see, and holding out to Harbhajan Singh. Harbhajan Singh having something to say to the spectators behind him. As uh, Mahavan Atapatu walks, he perishes Sri Lanka to 18 for six. This is Pathan's family, Irfan's family, that's his father in the foreground. He's gone for it in the air and Fielder getting under it again and it's Harbhajan once more. Irfan on a hat-trick, so is Harbhajan of catches. India well and truly back in this game. They're really pulling things back in these final overs. A repetition of Atapatu's dismissal but uh, this time on the offside. Pathan again maintaining a very good line, probably a slow delivery again. And one got the feeling that Arnold slicing it to uh, Harbhajan Singh, playing a little too early again. Harbhajan Singh, good judgment, positions himself well and uh, completes a good catch. So the Sri Lankans uh, lose wickets in successive deliveries. Russell Arnold's innings comes to an end. A good one, Sri Lanka to 18 for 7. Shamindavas to stave off the hat-trick. Beg your pardon, look at the game because they had crossed over. Both the wickets going down in the endeavour to get the boundaries. This is Russell Arnold. Again, a slow delivery. Russell Arnold slicing it to uh, Harbhajan. The crowd really was on their feet. That is played late. And that is played very, very fine indeed. Boundary to end the over. It's 2.23 for seven, three to go. Ball in. Off the pads. This time, Loko Hitake couldn't quite manage it. The attempted Yorker ending up a full pass and just smashing the stumps off the pad. Another disappointment for Dilhara Lokuhetege, attempting the Yorker, but um, just going a little bit wrong, but Lokuhetege missing it completely. All what he had to do it was to put it away for runs. But Agaka, he has struck. Lokuhetege goes, bowled by him. Sri Lanka 227 feet. The singles so far in the over. Goodness me, that slipped out. Five runs, five wides. Murli Karthik is having quite a horrific time there. Well, the Sri Lankans wouldn't have bargained for anything like this. This really is some sort of pressure. Sri Lankans not to give them a run on the last delivery and that's just what's happened. 50 overs gone, the Sri Lanka 244 for 9 and a wicket to Karthik to end the innings. Yes, Yuvraj uh, picking up that last catch and a wicket for Karthik. Good judgment and covered a fair amount of ground. He's uh, safe as houses, Yuvraj. 
So Karthik goes to for four for nine. It is indeed a total bet. The Sri Lankans could uh, look to try and uh, defend. They've lost uh, wickets earlier on. Samarvira, Taranga, Sangakkara and Jayawardena made some uh, effort to try and get it on post. But it was really that partnership between Atapattu and Russell Lanal. They took Sri Lanka almost uh, to the brink. But uh, uh, it, both batsmen got out to successive deliveries from Pathan. And uh, the Sri Lankans ended up with 244 for nine. So that's the Indian bowling card. Three wickets apiece for Pathan and R.P. Singh. Very impressive, the medium paces. Eight wickets they got. One wicket for Karthik. Uh, that's the lone wicket for uh, the spinners. But they had a stranglehold, the medium paces, initially. There was a lot of help in it for them. Three for 38, Pathan. And three for 33 is R.P. Singh. Two for 47, Ajit Agarkar. He has done in the last. Serve out the man on strike. Was, uh, hasn't been very consistent in this series without uh, Murli Dharan. He's the main bowler for the Sri Lankans. And he needs to strike early. He's got one over. Tendulkar picked him a couple of times. And uh, he'll keep working hard to try and uh, repeat that. First runs for India. Sweetly timed by Sevan. So boundary to open his account. And India on their way. Shami Dawas has a lot of protection on the leg side. But uh, Shevag was able to put it just back with the short square leg. Oh, that surprised the Dilka. Some swing there. And the bounce as well. Whoa. It's not all that short a delivery. It's just taken off. Getting big on the little man. Steep bounce for the left armor. And Tindulka in a little bit of uh, bother there. You can see he's just trying to grip the bat and see if he's not hurt himself too badly. Might not feel it that much in the, the heat of the moment, but it will hurt later. Might just ask for the magic spray. This man uh, is one of the most dangerous players in world cricket and for precisely this reason. This is not a bad delivery, but it's a bludgeon down the ground. Yes, yet again, just stood in the crease. Just stood in the crease and uh, the arms are swung right through. He's got that through. First boundary for Tendulkar. Was up and there was width on offer. He had the opportunity to free his arms, but I still feel uh, it's hurting him. That arm. Beautiful timing. Just a roll of the wrists. And off she goes. 30 for no loss. Away goes Glass. Through the offside. It's gone like a tracer bullet to the boundary. Does he pack a punch or what, Sevag? He's absolutely smashed that one. Again, a full flow of the bat, high back lift, good swing, and uh, through that extra cover gap. He's gone after that, and will get the boundary. Got the opportunity to free his arms, Tendulka. Poor delivery, it was short, outside the off stump. 
and uh, Sachin Tendulkar just uh, easily lunged into it and uh, hit it into the gap. So, um, so he's uh, two good deliveries, then he falters. Mid-wicket for four. This time, it's even better from Virendra Seva. Quicker it was from uh, Dilhara Fernando. 145 k's per hour. Went to the boundary even quicker. Yes, the quicker they come, the harder they go. That brings up India's 50. Wasn't a bad delivery, but uh, Seva so quickly on to it. Great bat speed. And on! What a way to come back for Dilhara Fernando. We sit for 10 runs in this over already by Virendra Sebag. And that is a beauty. In the right channel, Sebag in two minds. And Sri Lanka pick up their first wicket. You can't really go wrong when you keep the ball up. And on this occasion, it was right in the right zone. It was a great delivery. It was taking the outside edge and flew to Sangakkara. So Seva goes, India lose their first picket for 53. Turn on strike, Zoe Sadabula. And he doesn't want to hold himself back, Patan. No ball was the call. Far too short and far too wide. He opens his account in grand style, dismissively putting Soiza away. So I think it's so important from a Sri Lankan point of view that they get things right straight away to the new batsman. And you really can't uh, let them get away earlier on. And again. And it's gone the distance. Would you believe it? What a magnificent strike. It really is a magnificent strike. This time getting on the front foot and bludgeoning it through the offside in the air. But with the distance, he gets maximum for it. Certainly. Packs a punch, uh, Irfan Patan. And Patan continues. His second six. What a shot. This really is magnificent stuff by Patan. The manner in which he got into position, that really was uh, around off stump. But he got into line and uh, was able to put it away with total contempt. Excellent shot. There's no stopping him today. Touch of arrogance about that shot. On to the front foot. From that position, he whacks it. But it's going in all directions. This time through the offside. But he's never afraid to hit it in the air, particularly with the field inside, with the restrictions on. And uh, this really has been the time the Sri Lankans have uh, floundered. Again, a bit of width. This is asking for trouble. Sitting there, asking for a boundary to be hit. 15 runs of the over. It's 82 for one. It's in the air, and he's Fox Fly with a slower delivery. And drop. One of the easiest catches that you will ever get in an international game. Lokka Hittige puts down a sitter. So he's been given a respite here. Patan, high into the air, like a scud. He had plenty of time to get under it. It's never easy. See, so many things keep going through your mind. And he made a real mess of it. 
Dilhara Loko Hitchigi. He's not having anything going his way in the series. Again, he's found the gap. He is in good nick and he's been dropped already. The level has gone 89 for one. Oh, that's the shot of a master. Carries it through the offside. There was a lot of fielders in the ring, and he finds the gap to perfection. A gem of a shot. You really could expect that only from a batsman of high quality. The head going in the right direction, the body weight following it, and uh, the placement absolutely perfect. That is very deliberately done. Fine leg was up in the circle, and Sachin Tendulkar has brought us a wonderful boundary. Now, this is uh, an amazing shot. It's it's clever, it's cheeky, it's difficult to play. It's predetermined, but look how far that front foot goes across. That is in the air. That is going to be a real difficult ask of the fielder who's running back. And he's made it. What a terrific take that is. This is probably the catch of the series. That is Jay Vardena. Had a lot of ground to cover. These are the most difficult ones. It was in the air, a mile high at least. Well, the catch of the one-day series. Uh, have a look at this. This has gone miles in the air. Eyes on the ball right to the end. Running backwards. That's a brilliant catch under pressure. Much needed wicket for the Sri Duncans. Patan has done his job, 35 from 23, 109 for two. Tremendous start by the Indians, 110 for two. The Sri Lankans really shell-shocked. They need a victory here to save face. And that is a tremendous shot. That is Tendulkar at his best. On the rise, a firm push, full face of the bat. Straight down the ground for four. And it's a no ball as well. No half measures. Short arm jab. He's got him. The slower one really sucking Tendulkar into that shot. Couldn't quite control it. Once again, the slower one pays off, and Sri Lankans, well, they've got another wicket, the big one, Tendulkar walks back. Well, you've got a game on now. Two new batsmen at the crease, so always the opposition will believe that they can take another wicket. Uh, early into a shot, well bowled by Nuan Zoysa, he's foxed him uh, into playing early. Tendulkar departs for 39 and Sri Lanka have a foot into the door. It's 115 for three. He's taken the aerial route. Tabla bounces into the boundary. First one for Mohamed Kaif and a positive one. Nicely clipped off the pads. So he's uh, straying just a little bit towards the uh, leg stump. And uh, Mohamed Kaif is good in that area. Just a little shuffle of the feet. Picked it up nicely. Used the bottom hand. He's found the gap. The third man was inside the ring and it's asking for trouble. Boundary to end the 19th over. It's 129 for three. of disdain and it's gone all the way six to end the over it's 157 for three didn't come up at all just a nice uh, tennis ball bounce for him and only 
rode with the pace, just lunging back. And he's bowled him, cleaned him up. Bit of a swing for Mohamed Kaif. And Loka Hetige picks up his first wicket. And the fourth one goes down for India. Just as the game seemed to be slipping away, Loka Hetige strikes. Short delivery, brush the pad and then hit the stumps. So Mohamed Kaif just a little bit late on the shot. And that's a big blow for Sri Lanka. Kaif goes for 13, India 157 for 4. He's gone over the top and handsomely. Four more, he hits a crisp shot. Really hits them hard, Dhoni. Not only is he a very attacking player, he could also defend when the occasion demands it. But on this occasion, looking to go over the top, he's realized that the Sri Lankans are having a, a look at saving the single. So he's taken on the boundary. Oh. He's got that one away from another boundary. Dhoni getting the runs quickly for India. Now he's 46 of 35. This is one of his slow innings in terms of uh, the boundaries he's made. But um, again, just look at uh, the speed he's gone. 46 made in just 35 balls. There it is. 50, Mahendra Singh Dhoni. His third 50. He's got two big hundreds. 148 against Pakistan and 183 not out in this series against Sri Lanka. Both at number three. Today is come at number four. He's indeed been a revelation in the Indian ranks. His wicket keeping too as a result of his batting has improved. And um, you would imagine that he's going to be someone who's come to stay. Down the track. And he smashed it. Six for Dhoni. He was waiting for that. Just a little bit of extra flight, quick use of the feet, comes down the track very quickly, just dances down the track and hit uh, straight over the top of the bowler's head. Lusty blow. Huge! That's the 17th six of the series for Dhoni, second of the innings. In fact, third of the innings, 225 for four. Dhoni looks as though he's played slowly, and his strike rate is absolutely amazing, 112. Eighth four for Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Charging the bowler, Chaminda Vaz, into another spell. He picked the spot to perfection. It's in the air, but he hasn't gone the distance. Long off getting underneath it. And he takes it. It's a very well judged catch in the deep. Stunned silence in the ground. But Tilan Samaravira has taken a very well judged catch in the deep and Dhoni, his good innings comes to an end. He thought he'd got it when Miles in there and Samravira did well to judge it, get underneath it and as he catches it, the pressure of the ball coming down puts him to ground. Dhoni goes, India then 240 for 5, Dhoni having made 80 of 73 balls. He's gone straight and could be the winning runs. Rahul Dravid signing off the victory in a fantastic manner. And once again, the Indians beating the Sri Lankans comprehensively. What a way to end the series. Over pitch from Was and driven straight round the ground. They are thrilled in the dressing room. They are thrilled in the stands. Indians will be supporting everywhere. 
They have completely destroyed the Sri Lankans. A 6-1 series win. The captain fittingly hitting the winning runs. Well, winning the toss and deciding to bat for Sri Lanka surprised a lot of people in the ground. Just getting 244 for 9. Arnold getting 68. Atapatu and Arnold put together a good partnership. But R.P. Singh and Irfat Matan bowled extremely well, picking up three wickets apiece. Ajit Agarkar chipping in with two. India, in the end, win by five wickets, 10.3 overs to spare. The star there being Mahendra Singh Dhoni, magnificent 80. A terrific performance by Team India. Everybody chipping in with important performances. Rahul Dravid and Mahendra Singh Dhoni doing an extremely good job. But there was Irfan Patan, there was Ridra Pratap Singh, everybody contributing. And it's been a combined team effort. There will be a lot of celebration. India, after a long, long time, have won a one-day series in India and in the most convincing manner. And a big bonus of 50 lakh rupees from the BCCI. It's a good enough gesture. And the series over. Seven match series started in Nagpur when India won again in Mohali. All the victories were very convincing. Jaipur by six wickets.